Daisy. In Pittsburgh Penguins history, only two numbers have ever been retired. Do you know who's? Uh, obviously, 66, the magnificent one, the greatest player of all time. Correct. Lemieux dominated the NHL for 17 years. The other jersey hanging from the rafters at PPG, number 21, belonged to a Penguin who only played one year, but left an impression on Pittsburgh that will last forever. He was that kind of a player on ice. He was just kind of like a phantom. You just couldn't quite catch him. His name was Michel Briere. He exploded onto the scene and caught the eye of a Penguin scout. Got to draft this Briere kid. Got to draft this Briere kid. So the Penguins finally took him with the 26th overall pick. It, it was evident right away that he was a special player. He, he was almost Gretzky-ish in the way he played. He wasn't blazingly fast, but he was very shifty and very quick, very cerebral, fought the game really well, um, had great vision. But he was also pretty tough and pretty determined for, for a player of his size and skill. And it was just very obvious that he was going to be a shining star for a long, long time. And then fate tragically intervened. Briere was driving with two friends, and the, the car failed to negotiate a turn, slid off the road, and Briere was thrown from the car. The medical crew that arrived on the scene remarked that, that he didn't have any visible injuries, but he had suffered brain damage. I mean, it was just a terribly tragic, tragic story all the way around. They performed immediate brain surgery on Briere, but he lapsed into a coma. During the 70-71 season, while Briere was in the hospital, the Penguins equipment manager, his name was Ken Carson, actually would take Briere's equipment bag along with his jersey, and they would take it on road trips. So that jersey was with the team every single game. And you can imagine with Briere lingering in the hospital like that, and you not knowing whether he's going to come out of it or not, how, how much that would have weighed on these guys and how much it would have stayed in the back of their mind. The team just, just knows died towards the end of the year. I've got to think Briere's condition had to have something to do with that. The surgery just didn't take. And just about a year after his accident, he passed away. For years, Briere's number went untouched. The, the equipment manager said, I was waiting for somebody to ask me, you know, if they could wear number 21, but nobody ever did. And he said he would have explained to them who Michelle was as a person. But nobody ever asked, and eventually the Penguins did retire it. On January 5th, 2001, number 21 ascended up to the rafters in the Penguins arena. Just a validation, I guess, of your worth and of your value during your career. Not just, maybe not just on the ice or, or, or in the things you do on the playing field, but your, but your influence on the team in other ways, in the locker room, with your teammates, you know, how you are as a human being. I mean, I think all of that gets wrapped into somebody's number getting retired. He, he would have been the Penguins for a superstar. You just wish things would have played out differently.